Hi friends, I'm Jessica and today we're in here to do my TBR takedown for the months of July and August. Quickly I will say if you missed my last video and you want to know why I was gone in August I will link that in the description box below as well as in the cards so that you can check that out and then you'll know why we're doing both July and August in this video. Cool. Also quickly if you are not familiar with the TBR takedown it is a TBR game that I'm playing this year trying to get my TBR books from 240 to 113. It's not gonna happen this year I can guarantee you that but it's the goal and we're just gonna keep working towards it and continue filming these until I get to 113 or maybe forever. I don't really know. My starting number for the month of July was 71 books and we're going to go over the books that I purchased first. My purchase stack is larger than I would like it to be. This is probably one of the largest purchase stacks I've had this entire time. Though to be fair it is two months worth but it's still a little excessive. So first there are six of these that count, one that doesn't, but I want to put it in here because I hauled it. I don't do a regular haul video, so. And that is Riser by Becca C. Smith. Becca is a fellow author tuber. I will link her channel in the description box below as well as in the cards. Becca's a friend of mine. I read this earlier this year, so it doesn't count, but they have brand new, absolutely gorgeous covers, and I could not resist picking one of these up as soon as the new covers were available. We then have Spellbound by Rachel Hawkins. This is the second book, no, the third book in the Hex Hall series. I was reading the Hex Hall series at the end of June and July, so I needed to pick up the last book so I could read it because I was enjoying the series. This series follows a girl who goes to a school for witches, werewolves, vampires, magical creatures of all different kinds, ones that have gotten in trouble, and they go to the school to kind of learn how to not get in trouble. Then have The Young Elites by Maria Lu. This is the first book in this series. I have the second and third books and I didn't have the first one so in order to start reading it I purchased the first book. Don't really know what these are about but here it is. My next book is Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This is the first book in the Aurora Cycle which I believe is going to be a duology but don't quote me on that. I bought this because it was the group book for I believe the biennial bibliothon. That sounds right. This is the group book for the biennial bibliothon. I purchased it to read during that time. I can't remember if I read it during that time or not but I did haul it so here it is. This book is about a girl named Aurora who is traveling from one planet to another and is supposed to be cryogenically frozen and wake up I think like two weeks uh, later in time and it ends up being 200 years later and it follows her like trying to adapt to her new world and all the things going on in the world and it, invol it involves space, a ragtag crew of misfits, and an overall scheme of a galactic war. The next book that I got, actually the next two books are both from Book of the Month. The first is These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Starling. This book is set in Salem, Massachusetts, follows a coven of real witches. I don't know that that's an accurate term. It follows a coven of witches who have actual elemental magic. They discover that someone is using blood magic, which is a bad juju no-no, and so they're trying to figure out who is using blood magic so that they don't get blamed for it and they don't lose their magic forever. It involves some queer characters. It's really all that I know. Next is Well Met by Jen DeLuca. I got this from Book of the Month as well. I absolutely had to have this book. It is an adult romance that is set in a renaissance fair and if you don't know this about me I am a total Ren Fair nut. Like I love renaissance festivals. I go every year. I dress up. I play the part. I immerse myself into the culture. I absolutely love renaissance festivals. They are one of my favorite things ever so I had to pick this book up. Um, it is, I believe, a hate to lover scheme, which again, I love, so had to get this plus the cover. And the last book that I got, I really just bought when I was out on a whim. I was having kind of a bad day. And uh, again, you can check out that first video that I linked to about why my life's been kind of crappy, but I was just having a bad day and I needed something to cheer me up. So I purchased Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey and it has a bookmark in it, but I'm not the one reading it. My sister's actually reading it right now and is enjoying it and doesn't think that I'll enjoy it. So I guess we'll see when she's done reading it if I actually like it or not, but I did pick this up. That is my sixth book. And next I will quickly go through the books that I read this month. I should already have up a full review for these books, so if you want to check out my full thoughts you can check out that video in the description box below as well as in the cards. I will also link my reviews to these books on Goodreads so you can check them out there as well. I read 11 books over July and August and 10 of those count because one was an arc so it doesn't count as coming off of my TBR but I will mention it as well because I read it so 
will mention it. So first I read Demon Glass and Spellbound by Rachel Hawkins. These are books two and three in the Hex Hull series. Once and Future by Amy Rose Capata and Corey McCarthy. Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. The Witch Graphic Novels volumes five and six. The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassie Clare and Wesley Chu. This is the first book in the Eldest Curses series. Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. Yes, I finally finished it. The Empress by S.J. Kincaid. This is the second book to the Diabolic series. Another book of the month book, The Winter Sister by Megan Collins. And then the arc that I read was The Babysitter's Coven by Kate Williams. I had zero unhauls or DNFs for the two months. So if you add the six books that count, subtract the 10 books that count, my new number is 67, which means I need to read approximately 17 books a month. Not going to happen in any way, shape or form, but I do feel really good about where I'm at. I'm hoping that I get to read more. I'm not doing any audiobooks at all right now because Typically, if I'm driving, I have a 12 year old in my car who doesn't want to listen to my audiobooks. Go figure. So that's kind of cutting me down quite a lot. Plus, there's a lot going on. I don't have the time to physically read either. So just doing the best I can right now. Let me know in the comments below if you're doing any TBR games to help you get through your massive collections of TBRs or if you, you know, are a normal person and don't have a massive TBR collection. That would also be great to know. TBRs are like my least favorite videos to film because I never stick to a TBR, but the TBR game videos are some of my favorites to watch. So make sure you link me if you have any of those on your channel. I would love to check those out. I post reading, writing, and book related videos randomly, sporadically throughout the month of September until I figure out what I've got going on. So if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!